Hey guys, welcome to Sketch Today. I'm Spencer and I'm an industrial designer. I love drawing. And the following is a segment from my live show. I go live three or more times a week now. If this is your first time, I want you to hit subscribe. That's the little red button. Turn on alerts and come say on the socials. I'm at sketchaday.com on Instagram. And you can also find me on Twitter at Daily Sketches. And I'm pretty easy to find on Facebook. Just search for Sketch A Day. And I appreciate your contributions, donations, and all that good stuff. If you want information about that, it's all below in the video description. Or better yet, you can check out my store, sketchaday.com. And there I have Procreate brushes, stickers, and all sorts of goodies for you. So you can also check that out. Well, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy. Svetlana, as always, welcome. I believe you checked in. The chat's being weird today. OK, there you are. All right, so let's do some quick thumbnails. Um, Usually when, I, when I'm designing something, I like to think of uh, a couple things. So form, you know, what's the shape of the thing? What's the function? What does it do? What's the context? Where is it going? Where does it live? And then what are those details for that design? So form, function, context, details. That's kind of what I like to think about. And form and function kind of go together, right? Form follows function. I'm just going to put two arrows here because they, they kind of relate together. Um, context is kind of uh, an outgrowth of these, right? So it's form, function, and then context. And then the details are really just a part of, you know, what supports the context, the form, and the function. So maybe this isn't the best visual. It's almost like form plus function. And then you have context that you build on top of the form and function and then details are kind of the last, right? So that being said, it is an RV, so it needs to hold people. I would need to ask uh, the question, okay, you know, if this is an RV, <clears throat> how many people are going to be in it? Where is it going? Is it meant to uh, be in the mountains, is meant to be in the desert. I'm going to do a desert RV because that'd be fun. Um, and if it's a desert RV, it might have certain requirements. Um, you might want to be a little higher up. You might want to um, might want to help with the glare. There's there's heat concerns, all this stuff. But let's just keep it <laughs> reasonably simple. I don't want to um, go too far into the design process on this because we're just we're just making a shape here all right so now let's just do some thumbnails and again you know i might you could start as basic as okay i know i need a box and some wheels and in this box i'm going to have certain things um you could even write notes on this because we're trying to decide what the function is you know we want to be able to sleep in here maybe eat do we want to are there any hygienic concerns hygiene how do you spell hygiene? Is it I-E? Look the other way. Spelling B contestants. Thank you, Rejwan. Much appreciated. Rejwan just contributed via the YouTube chat. Much appreciated. AK Ninja wants me to draw sports gear. How about I do that? I'm, I'm thinking about going live tomorrow. I just put up a, a placeholder for tomorrow, so I might go live tomorrow. Um, or we could do some sports equipment later. That's totally fine. Uh, let's see. Just checking in on the chat, Jens or Jens is asking, can I draw a flat ride or roller coaster car? Yeah, I probably could. So sleep, eat, hygiene. Um, obviously, maybe there's maybe there's a work element, right? And eating could be consumption, could be food prep, right? All these things are gonna play into the interior, but as far as the exterior goes, you know, if we're talking about, you know, this thing being in a desert. You're probably going to need um, traction for one. We're going to need cooling. And maybe maybe even, uh, you know, extra extra water, for example. Let's just throw that out as an idea. So you might need something like extra water for your supplies so that you don't um, die. Double roof solar. Oh, yeah, there's another one power. So, you know, maybe there's maybe there's some solar. That's a good idea. Adrian, thank you. Props to you. I do want to give a shout out as well. I forgot the name, but someone else made a contribution. I just want to say thank you. Um, let's see. Oh, I'm terrible at this. My apologies, but I do want to say thank you. So 
Mm, okay, I'll look it up at a certain point here and see if I can find it. But um, if you have made a contribution, thank you so much. David, what's up? Welcome. David's one of our Patreons. Svetlana's a Patreon. Um, Latrice as well. Thank you. If I missed one of you guys, my apologies. Yeah, feel free to uh, post your Insta. That's that's totally fine. All right, so we kind of have some parameters here for this vehicle. Um, and some of these things are going to be on the outside, you know, the traction, cooling, extra water supply, maybe power, solar. Um, so these are primarily functional things. And then as far as the aesthetic goes, um, I'm not going to draw a parrot today, Ruben, but that's a great idea. We could do a bird show, um, which I actually do have a tutorial on my YouTube of me drawing a bird. So, and I think I did, I drew for like two hours with that one. All right. So yeah, it's kind of like a tiny house on wheels, right? <clears throat> but this is just my way of kind of setting some parameters for these thumbnails that we'll create. Okay. And then, so like I said, that's, that's kind of functional and then aesthetics, right? That's, that's really just up to you and really the customer or brand you might be dealing with. There's my little AV controller for you. Instagrammers, it's a crazy computer thing that lets me switch my cameras. Um, so the aesthetics are up to you. And usually what I like to do is get something of a mood board in place. Um, I'll show you one that I created a long time ago um, when I was working on some other projects here. So let's see, I haven't used, I don't use Pinterest enough. So give me just a sec. Da, 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 da. Okay, let's go to me. All right, <clears throat> so guys on YouTube anyways, should be able Um, you guys on YouTube should be able to see here. Um, you know, I have a collection of some products I love, robots, things like that. Um, but here's an example of a mood board. Maybe I can just use one of these um, that I made before. So how about this streamline? Yeah, maybe we will. Because I, I think the, the last car I used um, had some of this. But just, just an example of maybe how you collect some visual things that can inspire your design. And it might be as simple as the color and material breaks. It might be something like this even, where you're like, whoa, this is really cool. Um, what if we did somewhat of a streamlined design? Um, or maybe you just collect some other images. So let's go to maybe products I love. Um, I haven't updated this in a long time, but maybe I can pull something from this as I'm drawing. So I'm just gonna have this up. We'll cut back to our thumbnails here. And so if, now that I'm thumbnailing, really what I just wanna do is kind of maintain proportion here and start to play with, you know, some side views. I don't know why, but I, I like this, um, you know, kind of raised cab, almost like this thing we're plowing through the desert you know, you would have some clearance. Maybe it looks a little bit too militaristic, but um, since it's a side view, right? We don't know what it looks like in the front, but what if the front, you know, this, this windshield or whatever, and we had just some nice simple form to the whole thing. Doesn't have to be super complicated. You know, we can play with these details. But again, just, just thumbnailing, right? That's the whole idea. Maybe we don't like that, whatever. We're just experimenting, exploring, and seeing what we can come up with. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the Dakar Race Championship, but these kind of remind me a bit of the trucks, and maybe that's that's part of the inspiration or um, theme here that we, we could go for, but you can kind of just play with it. You know, again, kind of like last time, I would typically do several pages of thumbnails before I committed to, you know, having something, something definitive. 
It's funny how sometimes I just like the first shape I've come up with and, you know, I can kind of make, make this work if I want to, but we'll explore a little bit more as well. Once again, thanks for joining us to Sketch Day Live. I go live a few times a week, trying to see, um, trying to see if I can go live more than three times. Normally it's three, but we are going to keep pushing, keep sharing, keep spreading the love and the creativity. Hello, Lori. Thank you. Alam, thank you as well. Let's see, Dot. The name is Dot. <laughs> Appreciate the blessings. And how to familiarize ourselves with the unfamiliar. Let me know what you're getting at. Or maybe give me a, a better example of what you're thinking. Yeah, I've, I've really just been into pure shapes and geometry lately. I feel like a lot of designs can be kind of fussy. So even the front of this thing, like if it kind of pulled up and down. And I'm just going to assume this is maybe something electric, okay? And you can do things like this where you do have one line that, you know, kind of relates to the form. Here, maybe the side peeks out just a little bit. And now I can put my splits in for doors, windows, that kind of thing. If we want to, could have a ladder on the side. Um, I did mention, you know, storage for extra water, solar panels, that kind of thing. Um, you know, maybe this, this thing has a latch that pulls up, which could be used for, you know, maybe a little extra headroom inside, but also, you know, some sort of ventilation as well. So if this thing pops up, you allow that cool air. Uh, would it be, no, hot air would go out. I guess it depends on if there's a fan. Um, but you could have the hot air going out and then maybe some way for cool air to come in. Maybe that's through the front. Maybe that's, that's through the back here. Don't really know. Just kind of thinking out loud. Um, and that's, that's really the creative process. And sometimes you just go back and forth. For example, if these are your two ideas, um, anyhow, I kind of like, I don't know. I just, I like this simple rational geometry. So we'll go with that. Still going to have knobby tires though. All right. We'll have knobby tires on this guy and maybe just a little split on the front. And this is where you'd have the driver's seat, seats, captain's chairs, all that stuff on the inside. And maybe just some mirror that has a nice friendly shape that relates to the overall shape that we have as well. Yeah, I just feel, I feel like vehicles, um, sometimes vehicles and shoes, I will say, sometimes they just seem unnecessarily complex. So at times I like to just have a simpler take on things, you know, nice surface transition on the corner, for example, just really clean, flat front. I mean, you could angle it if we wanted to have a little bit exposed, but I feel like it kind of changes the appearance. So maybe we'll just go with, uh, <laughs> thank you, Penception. Uh, maybe we'll just go with the flat front. All right, so let's let's just assume we picked a design like this. Um, could do a quick thumbnail just for reference. You know, what does this look like in perspective? You know, does it make sense? And now you have a quick like thinking ideation page before we even get to, you know, doing something more of a, presentation sketch, just a good way to, good way to think things out before you commit to all that work, right? Here's our solar panel. Not really worrying about the detail on these, these pistons, but rather just hinting at it. Um, even if the proportions off here, my goal is just to say, here's kind of, kind of the overall design. I uh, forgot we had this little thing coming up, wrapping to the front and then up like so. Yeah, something like this. I'll just shade in on the inside here. All right, so quick thumbnail page. We can combine those with a little background just to help them pop and that kind of thing. You can really do a lot with black and white. You don't have to necessarily even add color because color is immediately going to call attention to itself. 
So even just having this quick background um, in place here, and then we can take something like a black marker and just fill this in. This will make Alex really happy. He likes backgrounds. <laughs> if you guys missed the last two streams, I've been taking Alex's advice to heart and putting more backgrounds on my stuff. But you can just have a simple background like that. And now you have a quick ideation page, do a bunch of these. And this is really good in terms of storytelling because now you've kind of set, um, set the stage of what you're doing and you have some initial ideas. And now we can just do a quick presentation page and I'll show you how to do something of a cutaway view using the same thing. All right, so I'm just gonna take this set to the side here. Take a little, little sippy sip break. Remy says no rooftop bar. Um, yeah, we can add rooftop bars. Actually, I think, you know, they could even come off of this thing right here. I don't know, I need to figure out a home for it, but just a, you know, simple bar, something like that could be a part of it. Because that's black, if I want to reclaim that shape, I can do that pretty easily just using a white pen. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoy, and thanks for making it this far. You guys are seriously the best. The world is kind of crazy right now, but we can all create and come together. And I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, I want you to hit that subscribe button. That's the red button and turn on alerts, tap the bell, and that's gonna tell you when I go live and when I post. It'd be awesome if we can hang out and chat, so I want to see you there. You can also come say hi on the socials. I'm at sketchaday.com on Instagram, at daily sketches on the Twitter, and you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash sketchaday, or just search for sketchaday, it's real easy. All right guys, well thank you, and I'll see you next time right here on Sketchaday.